Okay. Oh my god, there's another one. Hello everybody, as Void6 here, welcome back to Current and Exiles. So I feel like we should get some more upgrades or some more items. So if we go into Fates, it's a few things I'd like to get. So first up, I wouldn't mind getting a new altar. But instead of buying a new one, which costs 50 points, what we can do is we go to religion. We can upgrade our current bit. So upgrade to rift and you get this other stuff in it as well. So we can do that for five points. If we go to uh, what else is this? Survival. Something in here I wanted. First we're gonna get band-aids. That's probably gonna help us a lot. We're also gonna get an improved campfire. A fisher, which gets us fishing. And um we want one of these. We might get a preserver. That will help preserve foods. Large chest. What's the new stuff we can get? A planter for growing plants. That sounds cool. So a crude planter and a compost heap. I wouldn't mind getting farming going. That'd be pretty cool, I reckon. So we get the basic version. We can't get the upgraded version because we need level 38 for that. Um, simple armor patch kit. We don't want that at the moment. We'll eventually get the wheel of pain. And with water well. If we move bases and go somewhere where there's not water, we might get that. But for now, we don't need it. So let's have a look what we can craft now. We've got lots of new stuff to do. So, where is the improved stuff? What the hell is a cupboard? Um, a crude planter. We're going to get one of those eventually. The large chest. That sounds pretty cool. So for a large chest, we need the shaped wood and five iron reinforcements. Let's see if we can afford that. So we can craft eight, let's craft four more. And of course we need shaped wood. How much shaped wood do we need? Fifteen of the guys. I get my uh, mace out just in case those guys decide to attack. So that's two done. We needed okay, we need a whole bunch more then. Oh yeah, he's attacking me. I always attack at the start of every episode, guys. It's like a tradition now. Here we go. Too bad he's too stupid to get us. Here we go, buddy. You should just leave me alone. Is he running? No, he's not running. Yes, one more hit, he's gone. Yeah, buddy. He's got a glowing essence potion. Okay, I don't know what it does. We're gonna not have it. So let's get some more wood so we can make those shaped woods. Looks like they've been busy as well. Okay, guys, we're back, and the shaped wood is done crafting. Oh yep, the last one just came in now. So, we've got these guys as well. The iron reinforcements. Let's make a bigger chest. Ah, uh, craft up. Okay, is there anything else we could get straight away? There is this guy, the large campfire. We already have the resources for him, which is quite nice. Let's go ahead and place this guy inside. Um, right next to our bed seems like a good spot. Good a spot as any. This chest definitely looks nicer than the other one. Like, that's a piece of crap, like, wood shack, and that's just, like, upgraded. Wow. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and this one is only 1, 2, 3, so it's doubly as big. That's nice. Okay, it's exactly double, yeah. What we can do is dump some of our stuff in here. We don't need all of it. Pretty much just the stuff we don't need is going in here. Uh, we'll keep the water, keep the trench in case we want to tame something. I uh, will keep the cleaver, because that gets us meat. Pure meat. There we go. We're down to pretty low weight. Um, so for this campfire, it's definitely going outside because it's kind of huge. What if we put it right here in this little corner? That looks fancy as. Okay, so what we're gonna do is dump everything out of this campfire and put it in a new campfire. Can we dismantle this? Yes, we can. There we go. We got that four stone back. Hell yes. So do we have any raw meat? We don't have raw meat. What we're going to do is get some raw meat. We're going to try out this new campfire. So we're probably just going to take this guy down. He's a pretty standard kill. We'll even go for his kid. It's even easier. You're all angry now, aren't they? Damn it. I'm trying to make an easy mission, but no, they have to make it complicated. Yeah, we'll take him out and then we'll go for the meter. Yeah. Oh, our stamina's gone already. Ow. Don't appreciate it, buddy. 
So I can make those over there. Oh, look, he's fighting the other guys. And he's winning. Holy Jesus. Okay, we got a fair bit of steak. Um, as interesting as that is, let's go cook it up. I've also managed to get some more meat for the um, this guy, which is the good meat. We'll put that away over there. Uh, once we get to 30 of these, we can actually upgrade this pit. We need lots of bricks, but the bricks are crafting at the moment. We need more shaped wood, a whole bunch of shaped wood. We also need the bones, so everything we kill is getting pretty much harvested now. Okay, so, we'll put the stakes in here. He broke our chest piece. What a, what a such and such. Here we go, grew it up. Well, I think it's going faster. That's cool as. Hell yes. Okay, what else can we craft, guys? What we can do is repair this thing. Repair. Don't have any, don't need to hide. Okay, it's hide. I was gonna say, I didn't think it was plant fiber. Okay, so what else is there? We got the silk. We can actually make silk out of the spider webs. So we saw spiders previously. That's what they would probably do. The fish traps, here we go. Uh, there's two types of fish traps. Which one do we want, is the question. So there's two. We've got shellfish, and then there's a the normal fish trap. So it's twine and branches. We had twine inside and branches as well, didn't we? There's the twine, and there's the branches. Extra bones as well. We need more of both, don't we? Let's make some more twine and get some more branches. Twine, where are you? Yes, you are. We're going to need some more plant fibers and some more branches. Let's go ahead and grab some. Hopefully these guys don't keep spawning back. We need to make like a wall or something just to separate us. So keep attacking, it's really annoying. Here we go, branch time. We don't get branches with a pick, do we? Yep, it has to use an axe, okay. Okay, we need one more twine. Here we go, now we'll craft up the trap. Craft it up. Hopefully this supplies us with a steady supply of food. That'd be nice. Our food isn't that bad at the moment, but I'd rather have like quality food over the rotten flesh that we're eating, like the human arms. So yeah. Go. We'll place it down. I don't know where to place it to be honest. I feel like in water like here. Okay, I can't go that deep then, okay. Place it like right here then. So, time equals fish. Okay, I'm happy with that. We'll come back after time has passed. Is there grilled steaks? Oh yes. There was any food cooking here, was there? Nope. Okay. So we can repair this now that we need to hide. Okay, let's get some hide. How's that guy doing? Is he almost tamed? Oh, look at that, he's about halfway done. What a shame. Just in time for a battle, guys. We're taking both down. Finish this guy off and then we'll finish off the archer. Here we go, buddy. Come closer. Yes. Right to me. Hell yes. We'll take his hide because that's what we're going to use to make our um, armor. Or repair our armor. Okay, so we'll repair this guy. That's repairing. Is this guy going to repair as well? He needs hide. Okay, he needs more hide. Must be pretty expensive to repair it then. What about now? Oh yeah, that repaired it. Sweet. There's more dead bodies everywhere. That guy was just going ham. Okay, this guy's repaired. This guy's repaired. Not fully though. Can we repair it fully? Repair. Okay, so it appears that the more hide you put in, the more it gets repaired. Like, you can just repair it like, a tiny bit. It's a tiny bit of hide, but you can put more into it. Okay, is this guy almost done? This guy needs a lot more repairage. But we need more hide. Okay. I feel like we should go exploring this way, because I haven't really been in this direction. So if we follow the coast up, maybe, it might be pretty good. Of course, we're going to finish this guy off, though. He started the fight with us. We, of course, are the finishers. There we go. 
Oh no, red stamina, that's not good. Get out of here. Leave me alone. Okay, we use some of our amazing cooked meat. Hopefully that's gonna give us a lot of uh, health back. So we've got plenty of hide now. Let's prepare this guy. Prepare. We should definitely try and get some metal armor at some stage. I reckon that'd be really nice to have. It'll improve our survivability like tenfold. Let's have a look actually. So we got oh we yeah, we haven't upgraded these in a while. We can upgrade our encumbrance. Boom, look at that. Okay, what other things should we go for? We'll get 26 points. Raw and bloody food, you don't have to cook raw meat to avoid freezer poisoning. That sounds cool. But the next one after that, you harvest resource nodes twice as fast. You 10% less stamina when you climb. We don't really climb. Ah, uh, no. Yeah. Or should we just go for, what else could we go for? Um, I'm not sure what to go for, honestly, guys. I feel like this one might be useful, because we don't have to cook meat then. But the next one after that's twice as quick, so that seems like something that could, could be cool. Okay, so let's look for armor. Armor, armor, armor. The next one is Savage Armors. It's level 20. We are over level 20, so we can actually make some of this stuff, most likely. Um, let's research that. I don't know if we have the resources for it, but we might. That would be really cool if we did though. Okay guys, here's the real test. So this is raw meat, human flesh, uncooked. That's the cooked one, that's not. So if we eat some of this, we shouldn't get sick anymore. That's awesome. We no longer get, um, zombie AIDS. I wonder if that means we don't have to cook the flesh from here either. That'd be cool. Sorry, the armor is workbench. You're this one here, aren't you? Heavy helmet. It requires thick leather. So the thing we just researched, what was one of the things called? That's a million dollar question. So armor. We just got... Um, we want chest plate or something. So the cam... Camburgeon. This is the armor we just got. Which needs medium chest padding. How do we get medium chest padding? So medium harness. Where's medium chest padding? Medium chest padding. It needs leather and twine. We could easily do this, guys. Like, literally easily. So this is the tannery. Let's tan some leather up. Um, I think it's... Yeah. Bark. So we definitely need more leather and definitely need more bark. So, I'll be back in like a few minutes once we've gotten some leather. Okay guys, we are back. I just killed some more guys. Absolutely dominated my health a little bit. But we can eat our raw flesh, so it's all good. We've got so many leather crafted up. Um, oh, we've got over 100. we also got some twine. How much twine have we got? Um, I saw it two seconds ago. Did I put it in the inventory? I surely not. I don't know what happened to my twine, guys. I'm literally blind. It's right here. Literally right here. Okay, so let's craft some armor up. This is the armory workbench. Yes, it is. Put so many resources in here. Hopefully that's enough for a few items. So the medium chest plate, that's one crafted up. Uh, let's get the rest of this guy. What was it called again? I do not remember. I think it started with K. Yep. So, it just needs the medium chest padding. That's all it needs, essentially. Does this all just need the medium? Wow. Okay. So, all this stuff just needs medium. That's cool. Which means we can actually craft chest plate right away. That is really nice. I'm hoping it does lots of protection. It'd be really cool if it did. Okay, so let's craft up some more medium uh, templates. So the shoes and the gloves both need two each. So medium boot lighting needs two of those. And the gloves. Gloves, gloves, gloves. Two of those as well. Um, for the leggings, it only needs one. And for the helmet, it's this one. It only needs one as well. I think that's it, because we don't want this, do we? I don't think so. 
So this guy's done. Let's have a look what he looks like. It says, um, armor value 43 versus 11. Oh my god, that's so much better. Okay. Uh, one thing I want to see is, if we drop this and put the new armor on, does it take that weight down? No, it doesn't. But, look at that, it's an actual full piece of armor. Our old armor didn't even cover us properly, like it had like holes in it, it was just like rope. This is proper armor. What an upgrade guys, that's a very good upgrade. Not sure if we can scrap these, but we're just going to leave it underground, I do not really want it. Okay, so the rest of the starts crafting. Um, the gauntlets are done, the brutes are done, let's craft the brutes up. Brutes. Gloves. Okay, for the helmet, it does need 10 horns. I'm not sure if we even have one. We might have one. So this one has nothing in it. Nothing again. Okay, we have three horns. Looks like we're not getting a helmet for a little bit. Unless there's an alternate helmet we can get. It's the only thing I can think of. Is there any fish done? So I just saw that and I'm uh, thinking. Oh, look at this! Exotic fish and savory fish. Hell yes, guys. This one's about to expire, so we'll eat this. Passive food gathering. That's awesome. It's got an achievement as well. Okay, so the medium helmet paddock's done. Gloves are done. Brutes are done. Let's craft up some other gear. So for the pants, it does need just the medium legs. Okay. Looks like we're having a skirt then. So for the helmet, um... It's going to have to have horns, unless there's something else it goes into. Can we just wear this? Is my really another question. If we can just straight up wear this, it'll be cool. I'm going to say probably not, though. Nah. Didn't think so. So have a look at us now, guys. We have a basic armor. Wait till we put the new armor on. It's going to look so much better. We have a dress. We have the new boots. And we have the new gloves. Have a look at that. The only thing that's representative of the old armor is the old helmet, which is kind of pathetic. Okay, I'm going to drop all the old armor and we're going to try and explore it for a little bit. Okay, let's go up the coast this way a little bit. We're going to try out this bomb as well. I know we tried out one previously, but look at this. There's a whole group of them. They're just asking for it. Hello. Is he going to do something? Oh, look at that. That's awesome. That's funny as. Okay. We're not going to walk into it this time, that was a big mistake we made last time. Let's just keep running up the coast, have a look if there's anything at all. We can even look at the map actually. So you can see we've explored here all the way around. There's all the locations as we've gone around. This way could be something brand new. Let's keep going. Okay guys, we've been walking for a little bit. I just stumbled along these guys. I feel as though we can take one of, this, one of them out. This guy is the bow, so let's take him out first. Attack! Uh oh, we didn't have a weapon out. Oh no. At least we can climb stuff. Keep stay equipping our weapon when we climb it. Yep, gotcha. Sleeping, are you? Bad idea. I reckon it's best to use the mole when there's two of the guys. So you can take them both at the same time. Like that. Wax in the sliding motion. It's all mole. What the hell, buddy? What are you doing to me? Let's go. So I thought. So violent. Oh. Okay. I guess we won in the long run. And she had nothing after all that. Damn it. Um, what is this? There's two major statues here. I feel like we should definitely go and have a look what it is. No other no other obvious statues here. So let's just go straight for it. Could be a temple or something, or it could even be a boss. I have no idea whatsoever, guys. Oh, what the hell? We're getting crocodiled. Actually, we've got the new armor. I feel like we should try. Definitely try it. We haven't taken a crocodile yet, see if we can do it. Oh my god! That's so that's still a lot of damage does to us. You gotta be smart about this, guys. He's almost dead, but so are we. Okay. He's going for the attack. Oh! 
He still got us. He just jumps in here. Yes! Yes! Look at that. That is awesome. Okay, how much stuff does he give us? And what does he give us? He has fangs on him. Jesus Christ. What do they even do? Sharp. Sharp tooth. Large sharp tooth. So it definitely makes something. It's just a matter of what does it make. We'll find out eventually though. Okay. We discovered the sentinels and we're thirsty. So there we go, we found another location. And we're seeing we had some boss area, because look at this, it's really nice. Okay, it's definitely not a boss, but it's like a camp here. I just saw someone walk around the corner. Is there any loot we can take? No, I don't think so. We'll take this guy out though. Is he friendly? Another new one. He's eh? friendly! What the hell? Veterans tend to smell just a little more like despair. I'm up. In the beginning, they were only bracelets. Why didn't clap small? Cool. Saw one fool cut his arm clean off trying to get rid of it. I don't know how to do the clap, right but we got it. I think it's. Nasty business. No. Even on. You start to hear the voices soon enough. Polite clap. That may have just been what we learned to do. I'm not sure. Either way, that's pretty damn cool. I thought everyone in this game is aggressive, but nah, this guy's peaceful-ish. One thing we gotta try. Can we get up this guy? We might end up running out of stamina before we get up too high, so I'm gonna stop. Yeah. Whoa, we've got all the fishies. Another camp we'll come across. Where are they running? Oh, yep, Crocodator. That's a perfect distraction for us to get past with. I'm happy with that. Wondering if there's any iron or coal around this. Not chasing us, it's fun. If there's any iron or coal here, this will be a new um, easy way to get iron and coal. Instead of traveling so far in the other direction. But I'm gonna say there's probably not any, is there? There's a lot of small rocks here, is any of them iron or coal? Ah, uh, it doesn't look like it. What a shame. Damn it. So he just humming to himself? Sounds like it. Oh, it's one of those guys! We haven't seen one of these guys since we first started playing the game. I'm pretty sure our weapons are much more powerful now. Hell yes they are. Look at that. We dominated them. Another one down there. This whole group of them actually. One, two, three at least. They make this weird noise. But I also see something over here. We're gonna investigate I reckon. Could be something interesting, could be nothing though. Look at all the dunes, it's crazy big. So we're going out this way. I think it's towards the edge of the map actually. Music's starting to get hectic. Is there something attacking us? Or is it just scary music for the point of being scary? Nothing here it looks like. Uh oh, that's definitely not nothing. What the hell is that? What the hell is that? Is there anything flying in the sky? Yeah, okay. Do we want to take that on or do we not? I have no idea what it is. Looks like a cross between a werewolf, a bat, and a vampire. Like, what the hell? What even is that? It looks like it's eating someone. Um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna try and take it on. Worst case, we can absolutely leg it and hopefully not die. What the hell? Okay, I definitely, I think it's seen us. Where did it go? What the hell? Gods cursed this sandstorm. We were forced to take refuge before the wind scoured the skin from our faces. There is something in the storm. Beasts. We hear the skittering of their paws outside the ruins, and their howls mingled with the screaming winds. The men are scared. I put them to work crafting rudimentary weapons and torches from the loose stones and rough plants that dot this place. I've yet to meet a beast that like fire, or the bite of the axe. Okay, that was a bit weird. I'm guessing that guy got smashed up by one of those guys. We didn't get to fight him there. I'm, I'm half glad and half disappointed at the same time, to be honest. Okay. Oh my god, there's another one. Is it, they're just going around killing these guys, what the hell? Is there another note? Yeah, I thought so. Can we pick it up? Okay, it might be the same note that we just read before. That scared the hell out of me though. 
We should come over to the mountain and just like, Rawr. Jesus Christ. Okay, guys, we're pretty goddamn far away from home, and we're out of stamina. So I feel like we should start heading back. We managed to get all the way out here. So pretty much our journey went. Uh, we ready? We start. That's where we spawned. So we went up here. We found that place. We went all the way through here. Went through here. Got the vampire things, and we turned back in. So I feel like it's pretty far away from base. Let's go back home. By the way, this is the leather journal we found. If anyone wants to read that, feel free. I'm not going to. And you can see this goes so, so, so close to being done. I feel like we should just wait for him before we end the episode, because I want to know what he does, honestly. I have no idea what it is, but it's surely interesting. Ah, uh, we don't have enough stuff for this yet. Let's go drop our inventory off. We didn't get that much stuff, but we just did the exploring majority. So we'll drop it all off, though. Okay, that's done. Get ready to cook the flesh as well, since we've got raw flesh. Doesn't really matter which one we eat. Interesting about the fangs, though. One thing we can do is, if we go to the blacksmith, which is over this way, isn't it? There's one thing I already searched off camera, and that is the skinning knife. So if we get some more iron, I think there's some inside, uh, we'll better get a skinning knife. Hopefully it does a lot more efficient skinning. So we'll be back in two seconds. He's so close. Look, he's moved to the end. Okay. Let's get the skinning knife happening. See the iron. Come over this way. Something different. So, the iron goes from here, and we can get ourselves a skinning knife. I want to try this thing out. It seems like a cool concept. I just saw the general entry at the top right of the screen before, and I'm like, we where's the skinning knife, isn't there? We should do that. These are the missions, by the way, guys. It's a whole bunch of them. Okay, skinning knife. Attempt number one. We're going to skinny human? Yes, we are. Uh-oh. Looks like he's using our mole again. We need traps. We need like a turret or something. Leave me alone. I'm just trying to skin people alive. God damn it. I hate the shields. Without the shields, this would be so easy. What if we run past this guy? I bet you he'll help us. Oh no, he's gonna help them. That's not cool of you. What a little ass! Damn it. Okay, I think we lost most of them. Take the guy without a shield. Go, yes, gotcha. That's what you get for messing with me. Okay, let's try out this kidding knife. Oh, we leveled up! And look at all the hide we got! Let's try it on an enemy though. Like a, um, animal. Yep, we're trying to learn you, buddy. You heard me. You heard me right. Ah, ah, there we go. That's where he's gonna hit us. Let's try it out. Plus nine hide. We'll take this guy's stuff. We'll take his salted berries. We'll try to eat them in seconds. Well, yes, we will. Don't need the stone clubs. We can drop that. Oh, it's dropping stuff out of your inventory. That's annoying. Okay, let's try salted berries. Do they taste nice? Oh wow, it gives us health regen. Nice. Okay, I'm surely our guy's done um, taming now. Let's have a look. Here we go. Is he done taming yet? Oh yes, look at that. We have a Zamorian exile. What can we do with him? Can we like... Oh wow. So I feel as though he's going to protect us, maybe. But what we can do is probably put him in one of these stations. Maybe. We can't. I don't know. What we're going to do is we're going to place him down. See if he protects us or not. Here we go. Can we give him a weapon? He has a stone sword. And... Unarmed left. We can give him armor. He starts with basic armor, though. That's cool. So, main hand. There we go. He's got a sword. Sweet. That's awesome. I think he's going to protect us now. That's pretty damn cool, guys. You've got to admit that. One thing is, I feel like he should definitely have a better weapon. So, I'll be back in two seconds once I've given him a better weapon. 
Okay, guys, we're back. Our guy's still standing here, amazingly. What we can do is we're gonna give him both a shield. Give him a shield. Yes, and a flange mace. That's essentially what we got, but it's on f full durability. So I'm pretty sure it's a good fight in there. He doesn't have a head, uh, head protection, but we'll eventually make him something. Can we tell him to follow us? Um, yes, we can. Oh, he's following already. Or did we tell him to stop? Okay, follow me, buddy. Yes, he's coming. Look at that. Um, can we take on any enemies with this guy? Is there any enemies over here? The one time there's no enemies, guys. Typical, isn't it? Um. Surely there's something to kill. Where'd he go? Oh, he's over there. We're gonna find something really quick. We're gonna kill something and show how good he is. Here we go. Look at this. This guy's gonna protect his kid, and our guy's gonna protect us. Do something, buddy. Was? Oh yes, look at this, he's attacking him. Oh yes. We got a second set of hands, guys. Oh yeah. Yeah. Obviously we don't want him to die, so we're gonna help him out a little bit. But still, second set of hands. That's awesome. We're gonna take his sword as well, because I want him to have a flanged mace. I don't know why, why he unequipped stuff, but whatever. You can see he's even regenerating health, that's pretty nice. Okay guys, I think this is gonna be the end of the episode right now. I'm glad you enjoyed it, or well, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you smash that like button. Make sure you subscribe so you can see the next episode as soon as it comes out, and I'll see you there. Thank you guys for watching.